I bought a bunch of cheap bike lights off of Amazon and I'm gonna add them to this two passenger bike from Testway. That is just a washed out mess. I'll show you how to install each one, how much each cost, and which lights are the best for visibility. Well, that is cool. And which you should avoid. This is a party bike now. I'll then run you through a few features I like most about the Testway. The first are these $10 mini silicone lights. That is super easy to install, wow. Oh, yeah, on, strobing, slow strobe, off. What is the next one? It says spoke light. That one is meant for bikes with these types of spokes and the Tessway has more BMX style rims. Here's how to install on regular spokes. Just push the bolt through, pop it on the spoke and screw on the nuts. For the Tessway, we just zip tie the crap out of it, which actually worked pretty well. Oh yeah, that's See? super tight. Yeah, that's not moving. Let's go try it out. <laughs> Yeah, we had this set up wrong, we think. So we had it- Rotated 90 degrees. Nine, yeah, I think we're gonna get a lot more visibility. Oh, that's cool. Yes, it you is. You can now see some designs. There we go. 30 plus designs with this one. Wow. Oh, that's cool. The next one is a $20 valve stem light. This is the one that oh. I've been looking forward to. This one has a ton of reviews. A lot of people like this. Take the valve stem cap off and then screw this on. That's, that's cool. I like that one. These LED lights were the most expensive at $25. Should we read the instructions on how to do this? Now let's Yesterday. just wing it. <laughs> <laughs> These are bulkier than your average LED light strip. There's a piece of double-sided tape with Velcro, so you attach that actually to the bike. That's probably the battery pack. You have a mode, speed, bright, and, and color. color. I'm thinking if we just maybe put the box right there, hold it tight. These lights have two-sided tape, which is gonna make it a lot easier to put on your frame, but uh, I don't wanna keep it on this bike, so we're just zip-tying it, trying to hide the light so you can't see them directly. And now let's hit the lights off and see what, uh, see what it looks like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, that like is that. bright. Here's the top view, and that gives a nice glow on the ground. Yeah. So this one looks like a little disco light. Oh, that just connects to your handlebars. Not only is it point down, you can actually angle it. Oh. So you can actually create wingman lights. Oh, man. Oh, 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 that was even bigger than I thought. <laughs> That's wow. awesome. Oh, those are huge. I can't get back far enough to like <laughs> capture the whole, here, here we go, there's the wide view. This one actually looks pretty easy. Look, just two rubber zip ties and that's it. There's a little button right there and it's actually, it's sitting above the surface so it's really easy to feel. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. it's green. I thought it was white. We don't like that look. Ben has, has thought to, oh yeah, to put it underneath the saddle which oh, I think is that. gonna look awesome. We just wrapped that bungee around the suspension, connected it to each other and that's actually holding that On nice there, and firm. Nice. Three, two, one. That's way, way, cool. way better. Oh yeah, absolutely. For fun, we thought we'd turn on all the lights at the same time. That is just <laughs> a washed out mess, but it still looks amazing at the same time. We then went for a ride to see if all the lights would stay on and to see how we'd like the bike. After an hour, everything was as solid as it was when we left. So I asked my brother what he liked. The seat's very comfortable. The color is pretty cool. I actually like how high it rides. It's kind of fun. And here's what I liked. I do like that the rack is welded to the bike. You have a cushion and foot pegs and it can carry up to 350 pounds. They've got a huge battery for a $1,300 bike. They say that can take you up to 60 miles. You can remove that, just unplug it, pull it out. It takes about five to six hours to fully recharge. I also thought I had pretty good components in the cockpit. It's everything I would usually see for a bike a couple hundred dollars more. Here's the things we thought Testway could improve. And the first was the power delivery. The strength that the motor kicks on. So the motor comes on a little bit too abrupt for you is what you're saying. Too <laughs> abrupt and too long. The biggest thing I didn't like were the welding scars. Now, as far as the best lights for visibility, we both agreed on the silicone lights. They are very bright for how small they are and super easy to add. I can see why they're so popular. Now, the light that I would avoid are the disco ones. They'd be cool to cruise around the neighborhood or maybe add to your kids' bike, but it's too much. There's a lot going on that can distract you when you're riding. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll like this one. This is my most favorite PEV and it's the one that I choose the most out of all the vehicles in my garage. So go check that out and thanks for watching.